Kumusta grade 7 students? Ako si Teacher V at ako ang magiging katulong ninyo para maintindihan ang mga lessons ninyo sa math. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, iniimbitahan kita na i-click yung subscribe button para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ni Teacher V. Pwede mo rin to syempre i-share sa mga kaibigan mo at sa mga kaklase mo na nahihirapan sa math. At meron ginawa si Teacher V na Facebook group. Pwede kang mag-join doon at sumali para... Kung may mga questions kayo about sa lesson niyo, pwede niyo dong i-ask kay Teacher V. Ilalagay ko na lang sa description box yung link para maka-join kayo. Punta tayo sa sum and difference of binomials or sum and difference of two terms. Makikita nga natin na dalawang term na meron tayo and the same lang sila. First term nila pareho ay 3. And yung second term nila pareho ay 2x. Ang pinagkaiba lang nila ay yung operation. Ito ay minus, ito ay addition. So, ang tawag natin sa ganyang klase ng special product ay sum and difference of two terms or binomials. Paano ba natin yung sinusolve? Kung nanood ka nung nauna kong mga videos, alam mo kung paano kunin ang sum and difference of two terms. Ang answer natin palagi dyan ay dalawa lang. So, two terms lang palagi ang answer natin and then laging minus ang ating operation. Una natin gawin is square lang natin yung first term. So, square mo lang yung 3. And then, square mo rin yung second term which is yung 2x. So, square mo lang yan. Okay. And then, ang operation natin palagi ay minus. Therefore, 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2x times 2x or 2 times 2 is 4, and then x squared. Therefore, the answer is 9 minus 4x squared. Ganun lang. Lagi lang dalawang terms ang answer natin sa sum and difference. Next, quantity 4xy minus abc times 4xy, quantity 4xy, plus A, B, and C. Again, ang answer natin dito ay dalawang terms and palaging minus ang operation. So, square natin yung first term, which is 4xy. And square mo yan. And then, yung A, B, C is square din natin. And then, simplify. So, 4 times 4 is 16. X times X is X squared. Then, Y times Y, Y squared. Minus Okay, so itong tatlong to ay magiging A squared, B squared, and C squared. Ang answer or product natin is 16x squared, y squared, minus A squared, B squared, C squared. Baka malito kayo ha, yung iba ang ginagawa rito A, B, C squared lang. No, kailangan ni square mo rin yung A and yung B. Next, quantity x squared plus 3y squared times quantity x squared minus 3y squared. Again, sum and difference pa rin to ng dalawang binomial dahil pareho silang x squared. Then, pareho din sila ng second term natin na 3y squared. Ang pinagkaiba lang ay yung kanilang operation. So, again, ang answer natin dito ay dalawa at ang operation nila ay magiging minus. So, square natin yung first term. Ang first term natin is x raised to 2. Then, i-raise mo pa ito sa 2. Okay, wag malito ha. So, yung x squared, i-raise mo pa ulit sa 2. Then, yung second term natin, 3y squared. Then, i-raise mo rin siya sa 2. Ngayon, sa law of exponent, ito ay power to a power. Ibig sabihin, yung 2 at saka itong 2 na exponent ay ipagmumultiply lang natin. Then, copy the base. So, 2 times 2 is 4. So, copy lang yung base which is yung x. So, x raised to 4 minus 3 times 3 is 9. And then, ito, 2 it times mo sa 2. E di y raised to 4. Yung y, kinopya lang natin kasi yun yung base niya. Therefore, the product is x raised to 4 minus 9y raised to 4. Okay, ayan. Madali lang, ba? Madali lang pag sa amin difference. Actually, ito yung pinakamadali 
sa special products natin. Kasi ito, laging dalawa lang ang answer natin, or dalawang terms lang ang answer natin, then minus lang. Next problem natin ay medyo confusing. Kasi makikita ninyo parang tatlong term siya, ba diba? Kasi may 2, may x, then minus 2. So, parang iisipin nyo, hindi naman yan, ma'am, sum and difference of binomial. Pero, iti-treat natin siya as binomials. Ito. Kasi kung makapapansin ninyo, yung first term naman niya is same lang din dito. And then, yung second term natin, which is itong x minus 2, is same din naman dito sa other given natin. So, we can treat this as sum and difference of binomial. Bali, ang magiging second term natin dito is itong x minus 2. So, let us write down the answers. Of course, dalawa, then minus, yung magiging answer natin. So, square natin yung first term, which is yung 2, 2 squared. Then, itong second term natin is x minus 2 squared. So, mapapansin niyo dito, naging ano siya? Dito, naging square of binomial siya. So, ibig sabihin yan, pag in-square mo yan, anong sagot natin dyan? Ang magiging answer natin dito dahil ito ay square of binomial, tatlo or trinomial. ba? Again, pag square of binomial, ang answer natin ay tatlo. Dito, sa 2 squared, madali lang. 4 yan. Automatic 4 yan. Then minus. Pero dito, kunin muna natin yung product niya. So again, ang rule natin sa square of trinomial, square the first term. So square mo yung first term. Then times 2 lang lagi. Sa gitna. Times 2 sa product ng first term and second term. So pag times mo yung first term and yung second term. And then itong pangatlo, square the second term. So negative 2 squared. Then, simplify. We have x squared minus 4x. Kasi 2 times negative 2 is negative 4x. Then, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So, isama na natin siya dito. So, we have 4 minus, okay, 4 minus x squared. Yung product na nakuha na natin dito sa x sa square of x minus 2. So, ito yun, x squared minus 4x plus 4. Pero, makikita ninyo na meron tayong pwedeng masimplify. Itong 4 at saka itong positive 4. So, pwede natin niyang isimplify. Or parehong number lang. So, pwede mo pang isimplify. 4 plus 4 is 8. Lagay lang natin sa dulo yung 8. And then, ito, kopyahin natin yung mga natira. Negative x squared ay minus 4x plus 8. Saan galing ang 8? Ito yan. pinag lang natin yung 4 at saka itong 4. Okay, so 4 plus 4 is 8. Then, ito, kinopya lang natin. So, ito na yung product natin para sa number 9. Next, number 10. So, ito, iti-treat din natin to as binomials or sum and difference of binomial. Yung e first term natin dito ay yung quantity x plus 1. Yan, kasi pareho lang sila. And then, yung second term natin is itong y plus 2 and then itong y plus 2. So, therefore, we can now apply the steps in finding the sum and difference of two terms. Again, square mo lang yung first term, then square the second term, then minus palagi. That's why we have x plus 1. Ito yung first term natin. I-square mo yan. Then minus yan palagi yung answer sa product. Then itong second term natin is y plus 2 squared. Makikita ninyo na naging square of binomial na pareho. So, ganun din. I-apply din natin yung rules naman sa square of binomial. Automatic tatlo ang magiging answer dito. Tatlo rin ang answer dito. Then, may times 2 sa gitna. Okay, so, simplify lang natin. Square the first term. So, x raised to 2. Then, ito, multiply mo yung first term and yung second term. Then, times 2. So, laging may 2 yan. Then, yung last term, which is yung 1, ay square mo din. 
Yan, ganyan ang square of binomial. Dito, ganun din. Square mo yung first term. Y raised to 2. Or quantity y raised to 2. Then, dito sa gitna, ipag times mo yung dalawa. Yung y at saka yung 2. Then, i-times sa 2 palagi. And then, dito para sa last term na ating product, ay di yung second term natin ang i-square naman natin. And then, simplify. Ito ay magiging x squared plus 2x plus 1. So, minus yan. Minus yung operation o minus. Then, dito, y squared plus 2 times 2 is 4. 4 y, then 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4. Okay. Ano susunod natin gagawin? Meron pa ba tayong pwedeng masimplify dyan? Yes, meron. Pwede natin masimplify itong 1 at saka 4 kasi pareho silang constant or number lang. Kasi pareho silang number lang. So, pwede mo ngayong i-simplify yan. 1, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Okay, so magiging negative 3 yan. So, 1, dito ko na lang isulat ha, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So, ito yung ilalagay natin sa dulo, negative 3. E di, kopyahin na natin yung mga natira. So, meron tayong x squared, okay, plus 2x, minus, etong y squared naman. Hindi na natin sinama yung 1 kasi minus na nga natin siya sa 4. So, ito na siya, negative 3. Then, to 4y, and then, ito hindi na rin natin kukopyahin kasi ito may minus na siya. So, dito na natin ilalagay ngayon yung negative 3. Ayan na yung magiging product natin at iayos na lang din natin. Sulat natin yung x squared minus y squared plus 2x plus 4y minus 3. So, inayos lang natin yung degree. Or, or nilagay ko lang sa pinakaunahan yung mga matataas yung exponent. So, itong x squared, ayan. Tapos, itong negative y squared, sin siningit ko lang din dito. Okay? Kasi nga, 2 yung kanya exponent or highest degree siya. Then, yung 2x, ito. Then, 4y. And then, yung negative 3, galing yan dito sa 1, pla 1 minus 4, which is negative Three. So, this is now our product. Nakuha na natin yung ating product. Okay. So, I hope this can help you solve or understand better the sum and difference of two terms.